Another really useful filter is the renovation. Right now we are looking at a existing plan, but you can also be looking at demolition or new construction plans. So let's see how that works. So I'm gonna mess up a little bit here with this project. I'm gonna create another wall here, and then I'm gonna press Command T or Control T and go to the settings and say that this wall is not existing, is actually something to be demolished. Press OK. Now I'm also gonna copy this door here. Let's suppose that we have another door that we're gonna be demolishing. And then instead of going to the door settings, I'm gonna open the renovation palette. And to do that, we go to window, palettes, renovation. Here we can do the same, but a little bit quicker. I'm gonna click on this wall and say that this wall is gonna be demolished. But I also wanna say that those two walls here are new, so they are gonna disappear because this is the existing plan. And then I'm gonna say that this door here is also a new element. It also disappears from here. Now, if I change from existing plan to demolition plan, you notice that ArchiCAD is showing in gray everything that is to be demolished including the wall hole for the new door. If I change it here to after demolition, you're gonna see how the project looks after we have demolished those elements. And then in new construction, we can see both overlapped. And then finally on the 05 plan status, we can see how the project's gonna look like at the end. I'm gonna go back here to new construction and let's change those colors a little bit. So ArchiCAD is now overriding the colors of demolition and new construction using those graphic override rules. So to change that, we're gonna go to document, graphic overrides, and graphic override rules. And if we go all the way to the top here, you will see the rules that are related to the renovation. So I'm gonna change the elements to be demolished. Right now they're overriding the fill type to cut stone. I'm gonna change it to a 50% of yellow and white and for the new elements I'm gonna change the black here to red as well you can use the colors that are good practice in your region some places prefer blue or red some other places prefer yellow and blue I'm gonna stick to the ArchiCAD ones here and notice that we are also overriding all the surfaces in 3d to this paint orange for the new elements I'm gonna go ahead and press ok and as you can see, now we have some new overrides. One other tip that I would give you is that you can also set renovation status for some 2D elements. For example, I'm going to create here some dimensions, and then I'm going to say that this dimension is also a new wall. So when I change to existing plan, I don't see those dimensions, but when I go to planet status, they are here. So that's an overview of renovation.